Black to my roots. Glad you made it black. I'm your sister Aisha Mohammed, founder of Black To My Roots. So glad you could join me. Today, I'm gonna go through my empties. You know, as women in taking the plunge in doing a big chop or transitioning to our natural hair is one of the best things that we could do. And it really does show that we have a understanding or want to have more of an understanding and appreciation of our natural selves, that we want to live a healthier lifestyle and be more balanced and accepted in who we are. I would encourage all of my sisters to take this journey. It really is a doorway to us accepting so much more about ourselves and reclaiming our own and being in our natural state and at one and at peace with ourselves and ultimately at one and at peace with God. I'm happy to be a part of the natural hair movement and that so many of you who took the poll that I had on my Facebook page, the link is in the description box, you know, that decided to vote for natural hair and natural hair reviews. That's one of the reasons why I'm doing this video today, so enjoy. Now 4C here is the type that I have and it's it's really interesting in getting to, to know how to care for it because in caring for it and dealing with it, I'm seeing that different products bring out different textures. Some products that work really well, I've come across some products that I wasn't too pleased with and some of these are a part of the empties today. Just a few because I like to use things for a little while before I change to something else and there are some things that I did try, didn't like and just threw away but some of the things that I used for a while are the things that I'm going to be showing you today. Now uh, some of you may have seen my video whereby I explained that I took out my dreadlocks which I had for 13 years because I wanted to have my hair free flowing and to be able to learn how to really deal and manage it because I was running away from that through the various hairstyles that I've had <laughs> throughout my life and when I went natural with locks you know it was still my way of getting away from having to comb my hair and I decided that I was going to take out my locks I did so and you know I'm learning how to care for my hair and the journey's really been good and in doing so there's different products that I've used at different times so um, I'm going to show you some of them this is the Moja conditioner from Kamaza Care. It's really, really lovely. I enjoyed using this on my hair. It made my hair lovely and soft. It finished too quick, if anything. It's got honey in it, coconut oil, wheat germ, really nice product. I don't know if you can get it in the UK. This actually got brought back as a gift from my husband um, from Canada for me, but I really do like the product. Now, Cream of Nature, they have this product here which is actually a mousse it's a styling mousse and I've really enjoyed using it it's with argan oil from Morocco style and shine foaming mousse I really liked this because it was the first time I was able to um, do my hair and have really good definition on a twist this is nice it's a nice change from just layering with creams really did enjoy using this um, cream of nature with argan oil and I've tried to get it again since and what I find is that they've got a wrapping lotion which actually contains parabens. I try to stay away from products that contain parabens because parabens cause cancer according to some studies that have been done. Now I share moisture, I am a share moisture fan and I do have a little gripe in the fact that we don't have any stores over here, share moisture stores. We've got you know people that sell it on Amazon and eBay and a few other websites but at the end of the day it's really quite pricey to get your hands on the product and if you're natural and you're washing your hair once a week or once a fortnight you're gonna need a lot of products so it can be really quite expensive but their products are really good I love the fact that it's owned by a black um, family and they tell their story on their products as well and that their products are sulfate free paraben free and all that good stuff but what I have tried out of the range thus far is sheer moisture coconut and hibiscus curl and style milk and this was quite nice but I felt that it wasn't really heavy enough for my hair type it still felt a little bit dry and it would be quite frizzy I found with these products it was actually quite frizzy with this particular range but as you can see I decided to continue to use it until it's more or less empty so um, I think it's better for other hair types than 4C really I also tried the sheer moisture organic African black salt um, balancing conditioner this was to be honest 
to be honest i didn't really enjoy using this product my hair felt really dry after it i didn't feel that it really conditioned my hair very well at all um i didn't have that much of a itchy scalp condition anyway but thought that it would still be a good product um to try because I did have a history of that and I think in just wanting to keep it away I thought it would be good to just you know use this every once in a while but it didn't really work for me my hair was still very dry after this is my absolute love this is the Jamaican black castor oil strengthen grow and restore leave-in conditioner I absolutely love the Jamaican black castor oil range from sheer moisture you really need to get this product in your life especially if you have 4c hair it smells really nice as well it gives a little bit of a tingle because it has some peppermint in there as well but it's not really that noticeable to me to be honest but I really do like this range you need to get it it's transformed my hair and this the um, Jamaica Black Castor Oil Strengthen, Grow and Restore Leave-In Conditioner is a key ingredient in my hair being far more manageable and wash day being a pleasure. Off. It conditions your hair so well. It has lasted me quite a while actually. It's lasted me probably about two months or so. But I'd say you have to stock up. It's um, a marvellous product. Like when you put it on, you know, you can instantly just feel your hair kind of like melt it's easy to detangle when you use this um, leave-in conditioner and as it says you do leave it in so what I tend to do is when I wash my hair I will um, use the shampoo I use the shampoo in this same Jamaican black castor oil sheer moisture range and then I will detangle with a tangle teaser brush and then after that I will wash it out and then I apply the conditioner the leave-in conditioner and it's just wonderful it's, it's just really good and you get good curl definition um, you know I couldn't ask for more so I actually use the whole range I use the shampoo the leave-in conditioner they also have a hair mask and they have something for your edges as well and they have a styling cream so if you have any questions about my hair regimen please leave them in the comment section below I hope you found this video helpful and thank you so much again for those of you that took part in my poll or question on Facebook and let me know what it is you wanted to see on my channel. I want to give a shout out to Sister Nicola and to Sister Sandy. Thank you so much for taking part. As I do more videos, I will give more shout outs. If you'd like to get any of the products that I've spoken about today, you can look in the description box. I've got the links in there to where you can find them. So if you like this video and found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tips. Leave a comment in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching. Stay connected to the roots.